Welcome to the Daily Coffee Pro by Mapa Forward, friends, and thanks to our episode sponsor, the Coffee Consultants Mastermind Group. If you're interested in becoming a coffee consultant and building a business, consider joining the Coffee Consultants Mastermind Group. You can see the link in the show notes below. Today on the podcast, knowing the RPM of the people around you and anyone who has had any kind of coaching from me or had a conversation with me about their business partners or the people that work for them or the people in their lives they've heard me refer to this term RPM Uh, and yes it's a car racing term I used to be in car racing and this is uh, something that I use to describe uh, the the difference or the similarities in relationships in the people around you. Now, RPM means revolutions per minute, and it you can go at a faster revolution per minute or a slower revolution per minute. Neither is better than one or the other. They all RPMs have a place, and everybody's RPM is unique. The reason we use the term RPM when talking about people in relationships in small business and relationships in the workplace is because when you have a disconnect between your RPM and the RPM of the people around you and that's unqualified, so you haven't spent time and invested effort in understanding the distance between your RPM and the people around you, you start to get some serious butting of heads around expectations and so what you typically see is business partners coming together with different RPMs and sometimes rarely does that work but it can work as long as you understand what the value exchange that you're getting from somebody is but more often than not a difference in RPM leads to a business partnership breaking down I've seen this happen many times excuse me now this also applies to the people around you in your business if you're requiring let's say you're a cafe manager and you're requiring a certain RPM from your underlings from the people who are reporting to you now you're not the owner of the cafe but you are in a leadership position if you require a certain work pace and commitment from the people that are reporting to you and you're not getting that and the person who you report to requires a certain level of RPM from you that you're hindered by because of the people that are working for you, then you're going to have a problem on both sides. You're going to have a problem from the people who report to you as well as the people that you report to. So understanding the pace of somebody's RPM is incredibly important for us being able to deliver on the quality of our work It also contributes to the harmony that we experience in the things that we're trying to attain success in. So if you are a first-time person in a business ownership position and you decide that you want to get into a coffee roastery but you don't know how to roast coffee so you're going to go and hire, invite a coffee roaster to be a part of your business and they're going to bring the skill and sweat equity and you're going to bring the money and sweat equity and everything's going to be fine. I see this happen so often. Well, friends, on face value that may seem that it work, that it will work but what is that what's going to happen to each of those people once they're put under stress and once all the shine rubs off of being a new business and and how much grit does somebody have how much passion and perseverance do they have for a long-term goal when things get hard that's how you start to look at what is someone's rpm compared to your rpm very rarely will you find somebody that has an equivalent rpm to you That's fine. They don't need to have the same RPM as you, but they do need to find a fly at a similar RPM to you or at least value the same things as you. If you have unmatched grit, that is a clear, 
clear indicator that you are of different RPM. If you don't have it mapped out ahead of time, what is important to both of you, how you'll operate under grit, what laziness means to both of you, what time out means to both of you, how you want to determine what's important and what's not important. What does hard work mean with re- in relation to time and effort? All of these things are important conversations to have with business partners and with everybody that's going to be operating in your sphere if you're a small business owner or a person in a leadership position. I hope you found this helpful and given you something to think about. Peace, love and peanut butter friends. Have an amazing rest of your day.